Uh, Momir Madness, huh? Let's do a Momir Madness. Why not? There we go. Someone following me called Positivity Bot. That's pretty neat. So welcome. My name is Lylanthia. Today we're going to try out a Momir's Madness. See how this thing goes. Um, this was definitely a mode in Magic the Gathering Online that was pretty popular. So I'm hoping it does justice here as well. Remember to always stay hydrated. I cannot think of anything more medically important than drinking water. Um, aside from maybe getting regular cardiovascular exercise. I'll bring this down a little bit. Okay. Dude, let's cast a one drop. I don't think that's technically the correct strategy, but we got a Deadeye Tracker. That seems interesting. Since he's purely card advantage. So they're going straight to two drop. Oh no, they're going to skip here. Okay, well let's... Let's make a two drop. Pay X equals two. Discard a land. Submit. Okay, so we got Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Let's attack. Let's get in our licks. Okay, what do they got for me here? They got a Tezra Shredder. Oh, right, that requires black mana. Okay. Uh, let's go X equals three. Maybe we'll see some kind of like a ball lightning effect. That'd be pretty sweet. Turn off full control. It seems like it's kind of unneeded. Oh, it was waiting for me to do that. Okay. Now I feel like an idiot. All right. There we go. And we got a Crojan Druid. Okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, this is only guys that are in standard. Right, right, right. Okay. Now I get it. It's all making sense to me. Okay, he's making a four drop, or they're making a four drop. Ether Inspector, they get two energy. When it attacks, you can pay two energy to make a servo. Okay. Let's take the action. We'll draw a card. And draw a card. Let's play a swamp. Let's explore. Explore seems really bad in this format, though. Because we're just drawing extra cards, basically. Uh, let's make a two drop. Discarding forest. I got a cat monkey. Towards the battlefield. With two one-one counters, you can at the upkeep. Okay. Uh, no attackers. That's fine. This format feels kind of clunky, but we'll get used to it, I'm sure. It also feels like there's a lot of creatures that are just do nothings. Soul Hunter Rikasha deals five damage to target opponent. Can't block. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and target my two, three, make it a little, little bigger. Shit, let's go ahead and move over two. It's a four or five now. So let's play an island. We'll go ahead and Momir. Uh, X equals five. Discard Swamp. We've already got one. We've got another in hand. That's perfect. Uh, we get a. 
two six that as long as we control it, Fairy's Planeswalker gets wow. No attackers, pass it up. So the cool thing is, once they discard another card, then we'll be able to Dead Eye Tracker into another free card. They get a six drop that is Carnage Tyrant. That's disgustingly good. Okay. All right, we go draw step. We draw a card. Uh, let's play a planes. Um, let's dead eye for an extra card now. So now we're card advantaged up, and then we'll make a four drop. Discard forest. We get a shipwreck moray. Okay. No attackers. So we're cluttering up the board real good. Um, we're going to come into seven drop, being able to cast way more creatures than opponent. It's exactly what we want. <clears throat> Factory seven drop. Resolve it, sure. And you get a Verdant Sun's avatar. That's really good. Hey, they're going to probably attack with Carnage Tyrant. And we, of course, will trade. Go to blocks. Two blockers. We know you have no buffs. Do damage. You can't get over, so they can only kill one. Okay. My turn. Uh, yes, we will take this action. Draw a card. Draw a card. Let's play a second forest. And then let's go ahead and see what our seven drop is going to be. Discard island, submit. Other dinos get plus one, plus oh, and we can just make dinos. Um, seems really subpar, but that's okay. Like, we're on team card advantage, and that's exactly where I think you want to be in this. None of his creatures are individually threatening enough for me to be, like, super panicky. He'll get to cast an 8-drop, and then he's stuck there. Although, I guess in this format... Like, I remember on Momir, on Moto, I was always told you skip 7-drop and go straight to 8-drop. And that was like a thing. Okay. So they're going to combat me. Draw a card. Draw a card. A forest. Okay, so let's go ahead and make an 8 drop. Discard island. Verdant Force. That's kind of cool. We're going to get all the sapperlings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they can make a nine drop. Okay. They got Zakama. That's really good. Okay. Well. Go draw step. So we can also pay nine. Discard an Aya Swamp. Sure. So we. Is Zakama the only one? Make another sapperling. Our dinos are bigger than their dinos. <coughs> so if Sakama is the only one and they do a nine drop, then they kind of lose out big here. Okay. They're going to kill the Glint Sleeve Siphoner. They should really be taking out Dead Eye Tracker, I think. 
they can gain three life. Well, they're going to kill the Deadeye Tracker. Okay. I mean, that's definitely a smart play. Here comes the Verdant Force. So is the 10 drop Metalwork Colossus? I mean, let's find out, I guess. By Island? Wait, there's no 10 drop. Okay, now we're going to go convert a Kamikos equal to 11. Got a Scryfall pulled up here. Standard search. Okay, so Metal Worker or Metal Worker Losses is the only 11. Is that a card I actually want? It's a 10 10. Are there any 12s? Okay, so we can go get Galta on 12. And I don't think there's any 13s. <clears throat> and then there are zero 10 drops. That stinks to know, but okay. X equals four. They get a Terror of the Feral Grounds, okay. Luckily, Verdant's Force is doing some serious work for us. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 10. So, if we go to 11, we can start pounding out Metalwork Colossi. So that makes this feel rather linear when you already know what you're going to get for 9 and 11. Hmm. And they can definitely kill my Zakama. I would love to have a Burden Sun. Maybe I should be doing 7 to try and get some life gain back. I'm hoping Verdant Force is just going to win me this game. Okay, they're discarding on X equals 8. They get a the Rising Deep. Hey, okay, Verdant Force makes another character. We'll get an island. I see no mountains yet, which is unfortunate. But I can hold back this turn and just gain 9 life. Okay, I guess I actually can't do that because it did my mana wrong. Okay, so I guess five, six, we'll make a six drop. Victory's Herald attacks attacking creatures. Okay. So it cannot let Victory's Herald survive. They're going to have to destroy it with Sakama. I'm really surprised they haven't... Oh, they don't have any forests, so they can't pop Metalworks. Hey, Verdant Force gets that. 
draw a land. So let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make an eight. Submit. We also get this eight eight. So it makes me wonder, is there like a really short list of eights also? So we can get Githshoth, which could be interesting. Ancient Brontodon, Polyraptor would be neat. Awakening Sun's Avatar. Uh, Zatalpa would be neat. Uh, Torgar, I think, is what we want to see. As I search your library for another card. Uh, Razakath could be really interesting. So they're targeting something specifically off five drop. Lifecraft Cavalry, okay. So I almost think seven is where we should be looking. Seven? What's in seven drops? Uh, there's a lot of really bad seven drops. Um, Aether Squall Ancient. That would be really funny. Okay, and they're going to start trying to burn down my characters here. Chromium, no. Exquisite Archangel. Yep, that resolves. Meteor Golem is, I think, what we want, right? This thing's not hexproof. Or do we want four drops so we can try and hit a chupacabra? Let's do a four drop. Attacks tap creature they control. And we still can't activate this thing. But let's go ahead and gain some life. Gain some more life. And that's all she wrote there. No attackers. Alright, pass the turn. Surprise there's no big, huge, bad flyers. Destroys the Metalwork Colossus. Okay. Three damage to my new guy. Okay. And this can't target players. Nope. Okay. And burn a sapperling. Pass back to me. Oh, he'll. They'll probably burn another. Okay, verdant forest. Let's go to draw step. Um, I'm having a really hard time deciding where to stay. Um. Yeah, let's do seven, because I think we want to hit it to Shauna. That's going to be the thing that we're looking for. Tashauna's probably the most impacting card we can find. Okay, can't be countered. No maximum hand size. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. Discard. Man, those are not very good. Okay, no attackers. Pass the turn. Oh, they're probably not getting my Sakama because they know I can just go get it again. That seems like it would make sense. X equals five. 
They gain life off Verdant Suns, and they go get uh, Lathnu something or other. I also wouldn't mind seeing like Cultivator of Blades off of five. So he's going after my Moray. Okay, draw a card. So we are going to just stick with seven. Hmm. That could be interesting. Okay. Because if we get to Shauna, we draw a ton of cards. X equals six. They get a combustible gear hulk. If you don't put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, then deals damage. Yeah, we decline. Okay, Verdant Force. And... Seven. Tishana! One, two, three, four, five. Let's play that. Where did Tishana go? Did it immediately die? Ha, it died as a state based action. Okay. Can we only... Oh, we can only activate it once per turn. Okay. Uh, so then let's go three damage to this one. No combat. We have no maximum hand size. Ah. Okay. We got our Tashana. So they're going after our primal tide, sure. Oh, they're going after Azakama. Okay. All right, our turn. Is there a crater hoof effect in standard right now? I think that's what I'd like to know. As cultivator of blades, I think is the closest thing we've got. Okay, there we go. Draw. So I should probably start working on closing this out. Let's play a mountain. So the problem with it is then they get to use the comma. So we need to find something with removal. If we do seven, there are so few cards that we might hit something that Necrotals or get Karzov. Yeah, because Karzov, Sanger, Pure Blood, we might be able to gas up in one turn. Okay, yeah, let's do a seven drop. We'll discard a planes, submit. Source you control will deal damage to a permanent or player deals double that damage instead. Okay, no combat. No attacks. 
We'll end the turn. They're sitting at a lovely 54 life. Yep, they kill off a sapperling. Interesting, they kept up two lands. Okay. All right. Resolve it. X equals six. Shiv and Dragon. Uh oh. Okay, we get another guy. Draw a card. Play a mountain. Uh, let's go ahead and do another seven. Discard. And what do we get? Thundering spine back. Okay. So there we go. We're just ramping out all the creatures. I don't think I like this format very much. This is pretty boring. Like, it was neat at first, but having such a small amount of top-end creatures, I don't think makes this very fun. Yep, you're gonna Zakama away my thing. Is I need to get enough mana on the board to be able to kill Zakama and then also play a Zakama in the same turn. And with nine cards left, I don't think that's going to happen. Is there anything in standard that has like an egregiously high CMC, like 14? Let's just do greater than 10. Okay, so Galta is basically it. So my turn. We've got 21 sapperlings. So... Hex, um, creatures you control. Okay, so... Angel of Dawn enters the battlefield. Creatures you control get 1-1 one, one in Vigilance. Other creatures get 1-1. One, one. Other legendary creatures. Combat Celebrant. That could be interesting. Demon of Dark Schemes. All other creatures, no. Uh, Garna at five. I'm going to probably end up using a timeout here. Haste, whenever one or more creatures you control, add mana. Create two 1-1 one, one white soldiers. That's not a creature. Uh... Of each combat, if you control a creature with flying, it gains flying. Same is true for other stuff. Um, I can know Ketra, maybe? No. Voice of Plenty on four. Okay, that's what we want. We want Voice of Plenty.
There's battlefield search your library for a creature with blah blah blah. That does nothing for us. Verderous Gear Hulk. No. Okay, so I feel like it's got to be Shalahi Voice of Plenty. So we can buff up all of our little guys. Um. Or are there any of the gods that we want here? Hazaret? No. Okay, we're about to take a bunch of Shiv and Dragon damage. Because if we get Voice of Plenty, I think we can just win the same turn. Draw. Okay, X equals four. All right, that was how much they cost. Yeah, four. <clears throat> okay, fingers crossed. Or we get a vanilla dino. Okay. No attackers. Pass the turn. Jam that resolve button. So I'm Shiv and dragging me out. So I don't think I'm going to win this. I almost think I might need to... Does this thing fly? Does this thing fly? Nope, I have no flyers. Okay. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'll have 18 mana... 9 and 9 is 18. So I can definitely play Sakama, kill Sakama. Let's go to my turn and do that. No, that doesn't work. Oh, uh, what CMC is the angel that puts me back to my starting life total? Let's see here. Starting life. Exquisite Archangel is a 7 drop. Okay, so yeah, let's just do it. Let's go to 7. Alright, bye, Mountain. Chaos Maw deals 3 damage to each other creature. And they got me. We're going to concede. Okay, so I was really not super happy with how that turned out. I get one more loss before we're sacked out on this. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Me versus Seno Natsuru. Seno Natsuru. Name sounds cool. Okay, get some lands. Alright, let's go island. Let's go and play a one drop. Dead. 
discard swamp this time. Pay it, discard, swamp, submit. Minister of Inquiries. Okay. So we've got a mill engine. That could end up being very funny. Island. Okay. Let's play a planes. Cancel. That's not what we wanted. Let's do a Momir on two. Discarding planes. And we get a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Combat. Swing. Go. Get in for the beats. Forest. All right. Make a 2 2. Direfully Daredevil, so it's a first striker. Let's go ahead and make a 3 3. Discard planes, submit. Champion of Wits enters battlefield, may draw cards equal to its power. If you do, discard two cards. I will decline that action. No attackers, because a 2 1 first striker can still wall us. <clears throat> Okay, Factory of Mummer Big, they make a three drop. What's it gonna be? Centaur Courser, all right. Are they gonna push up their two one? Nope, okay, my turn. All right, play a swan or a mountain. Let's make a four drop. Discard planes, submit. We get a 3-4 reach. All right. No attackers. And the turn. So I'm kind of hoping we see a 5-drop that lets us actually cast, like, get some more cards back. They get an Inferno Hellion. Hit attack or block, shuffle it. Okay, combat, attack. Block, my turn. Here's a Swamp. Let's make that five drop. Discard Island, submit. Explores, draws me a card, that's good. Combat, attack, no attacks. Pass turn. Are they going to make a five or are they going to skip it and wait for six? Okay, factory makes a five drop. Resolving. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Wow, that's really good. Swing with the seven three. Nope. Okay, my turn. Draw a card. Let's play that mountain. And let's definitely cast a 6-drop. Discarding Island. Submit. We get a 4-3. Deals combat damage to a player. Discards a card at random. If that player can't, you draw a card. Ooh. That could be really good. And it flies. Okay. 6-drop for our opponent. Come on, non-flying six drop. And of course it's a flyer. Okay. Alright. My turn. Here we go. Let's go and play seven drop. Come on, Tishana. Chaos Maw wipes most of the board. All attackers. Let's get in there. Cool. Trades. Oh, nope. Okay, no blocks. We're about to start getting ramshangled by the 6-6, six, six, though. Okay, Cryptic Serpent. Okay. 
What's going on? Seven. Submit. Second Chaos Maw. Bring the heat. All right, we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can play an eight drop this turn, which might just be the big, huge, hasty dino. Okay, it's Torgar. My life is 10. I take six. That's yucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this is another Chaos Maw, I'm going to plot. Sifter Worm, Scry 3, then reveal the top card. Wow, that's garbage in this. Uh, I am required to not attack. Which means if they play an 8th drop that either has haste or kills a creature, then I lose. Or they just get legend ruled, that's good. Okay, so we'll block here. 7-7 seven, seven blocks the... There and there. Three blockers. Okay. Now what's our 7 drop? Does not have flying. Good game. Razaketh the Foul Blooded. All right. And we'll, of course, let them hit the damage to us so that if they're doing a daily that involves doing a certain amount of damage, that they get it. Defeat. And. We get 100 coins, and we get a pull from tomorrow. A Settle the Wreckage. Hey, that's kind of nifty. I'm on board for getting a Settle the Wreckage. So we actually just need to cast a ton of black spells for our dailies. Um, I think I might just end up doing these tomorrow. Well, I could probably jam out 20 black spells. I think I built my mono black deck specifically for this. Oh, actually, I can't cancel. Okay, here we go. Okay, keep it. Let's do it. Okay. Combat. Let's bring it. Do some damage. Diagraph Ghoul. Pass the turn. Okay, they play an island. Are they going to play something I can fatal push? Because that'd be super cool. My turn, all right. And of course, there's too many lands in this deck. Island. My turn. Two attackers. Scrounger. It's going to get dismissed. As it's scattered. Okay. And then turn. Okay. There's the island. My turn. Of course, it's a swamp. Combat. Bring it in. Here's four more damage. Put him to six. This is a very fast clock, at least. There's an island. 
Eldest Reborn, I sack a creature, resolve it. Okay, sack creature, bring back Scrap Heap, Scrounger. Combat attack, block, blah, 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 my turn. Play a swamp, combat, attack, all attackers, here we go. Head and turn. I have to discard a card. Here it is. You got me. Island. Play a creature so I can fatal push it. Okay, they'll bounce the scrap heap scrounger and draw a card. My turn. Play the scoundrel. Push. No, don't concede so I can push the scoundrel. Gosh. Alright, bronze tier one still. We cast five black spells, I think. Maybe it was six. Three black spells? Okay, so wait. Yeah, that was just three. Wow. Oh, this is going to take like a year. I don't think I'm going to have time for it tonight, guys. But good news is I'll be back tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching, of course. I always really enjoy hanging out and playing some magic. And anyone that wants to come hang out is welcome to, of course. If you're seeing this on YouTube, definitely thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Throw me a like if you like it. Throw me a dislike if you don't. And definitely let me know why. Um, feedback is important. I have kind of taken this up as being my hobby. So if there's anything that you feel like I could be doing better... I'd really appreciate to know what that is. Anyway, have a great night, and uh, thanks for tuning in.